Hey, it's Friday. I said I would do a car confessional. I haven't done an actual car confessional in a little while, so here I am. So, oh, I got a little message there. Okay, sorry about that. All right, so time for some confessions. This week was really, really rough. Um, did awesome on plan. Sorry about that, got disconnected for a second. Tracked everything. Ugh, okay. There we go. All right. So I've tracked everything. I upped my water. My activity was fantastic. I'm measuring my portions really careful. And. I think I'm going to try this at home because my connection here isn't great. I will, I'll just try this. All right, how about that? All right. So, this week has just been really rough. And I decided to try to get back on the scale on a regular basis. And I'm not sure I'm ready for that yet. I, I learned a lot this week about kind of how my body works. Um, but I was seeing a, a steady increase um, in my weight over the course of the week. And so when I got on this, when I, before I got on the scale today, I was really expecting a, a big gain because as of yesterday, I was up almost four pounds from my last weigh-in. So I was on the scale this morning for my weight, my official weigh-in, and I'm up only 0.8. So it's kind of a good news, bad news type thing. Um, bad news that I've gained. Good news that most of that weight that I was seeing most of the week is gone, but it still kind of messes with my head. And so most of the week I kind of spent thinking, oh man, I've been kind of hovering around the 323 pound mark for about three weeks now. I'm up a little, I'm down a little, I'm just, I, you know, I, I can't seem to break this number and I'm, I'm so close to getting out of the twenties and getting into the teens and that's someplace I haven't been in a really, really long time. So I, I guess I'm a little anxious and I'm a little, uh, all right. So I'm a little anxious. Now I got sun, man, I'm just not, I'm not getting it today. Sorry about this guys. All right. Like I said, I try to keep this real. So, all right. So yeah, I just, I just want it now. And I, it's not time yet. <laughs> yeah, so, so I spent all week trying to figure out how I could tweak this. Should I cut this out? Should I do more of this? Should I do less of this? And I stopped kind of trusting myself and, and trusting the plan. And it just caused a lot of anxiety and a lot of stress, which I'm sure didn't help with the weight loss either. Um, you know. I had incredible feedback from the Wise Wingling group that I'm on on Facebook, and all of the all the tips and all the advice has been fantastic. You know, some people were saying, you know, you're you're working out a ton and you're getting a lot of activity. You know, maybe you're doing too much, and you know, maybe maybe that's a little true. But I have to keep going back to when I first started back in July. I could barely walk a block or two without getting winded and I've worked really hard to get to the point where I'm at where I can do an hour of cardio a day. And, you know, it's not intense cardio, uh, but it's an hour of solid activity. And then, you know, today I added on another 20 minutes of strength training. You know, yesterday I threw in a mile and a half walk. You know, these were things that I couldn't even dream of you know, six and a half months ago. So I don't want to give that up because the scale isn't doing what I want it to do. I can't control the scale, you know, but I can control what I'm doing and I can control how I feel. And, and it feels really good to be, to be active. And when I'm not active, I, I, I feel a difference. Um, so I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not sure what I've kind of learned from all of this this week. Um, I know that my body is its doing what it wants to do. Um, it's just not doing it at the pace I want. So again, you know, a lot of this journey is just 
learning patience with myself and my body. And, you know, my body has kind of had to be patient with me for the past, you know, 20, 25 years that I've got to this point. So I guess maybe I should be a little bit patient, more patient when it comes to, you know, making it do what I want to do. But the important thing is that, you know, I'm, I'm just so much more active and I feel so much better. So I really need to focus on that. Just, I guess the confession part is that, you know, it's just harder. Sometimes it just feels harder than it needs to be. And I think one of the things I posted this week um, on Facebook, um, on, on that group that I'm on, is just that some days this feels like a full-time job. And I already have a job. I have a full-time job being a mom. I have a job being a writer, um, deal with the house, and all of that kind of stuff. So it's like, I really don't need another job on top of all of this. But you know, it's just... It's my life, and that's not a judge, just something I need to do. And it's kind of the price you pay for not putting the focus on where I needed to be uh, up until this point. So it requires some extra work right now. Um, and, you know, it's not always going to be a, a feel-good, you know, positive experience and then how the emotions go. Um, but... Um, it's a positive experience with the direction I'm heading. And, you know, one of the big changes I noticed yesterday as I was um, going through this kind of funk that I've been going through the past couple of days is that in the past when I felt this way, this kind of anxious, sad, depressed, impatient feeling, um, I would eat through that. And I would kind of let the the negative talk in my head get the better of me. Uh, but instead, you know, I just, I decided, ah, oh, this is, this is bullshit. I'm going to go, um, and I'm going to go for a walk. And even though I'd already gone for my workout for the day, I, you know, put myself in the car and I went over to the mall and I walked a mile and a half. And by the end of it, you know, it was, I think just under a half an hour, which, not bad it's not great but it's not bad but I was kind of sitting there at the mall when I was done and just kind of looking around and saying you know this this is a better alternative um, I certainly wouldn't be getting anywhere if I were eating my emotions um, I mean, or I would get someplace but not where I want to go so I guess that's just kind of that kind of gave me the reminder of there are changes going on the the scale may not reflect that right now but there are changes going on in the choices that I make and, and the life that I'm living. Um, and then I do have control of that. So that's just my confession for the week. I've kind of had to extract my head from my ass a little this week and maybe throw us a, a small pity party because I'm not getting what I want when I want it. Um, but I'm working through it. And, you know, that's a big part of this this process and and this journey too you know I'd say it I think every time you know, but this journey is just as much about what's going on up here and in here than in what's going in you know what I'm eating and what I'm giving to myself to kind of fuel myself so but just some just some words you know just kind of some thoughts for today and just confessing that you know I try to stay positive and I try to be encouraging and Sometimes it's hard to walk that walk, even though I'm talking the talk. So that's that's my uh, that's my confession, and uh, no penance for myself. As you know, as a, a former Catholic, uh, no penance. Uh, just just learning and um, growing from it, and gonna keep doing what I'm doing this next coming week, and hopefully the scale will catch up to where to where my head is at and and what I'm doing, and if not. We reevaluate from there. So I uh, hope everybody has a great week. And I'll probably touch base uh, the middle of the week, just kind of with how things are going. Kind of have a busy weekend this weekend. So I'm going to do my best to stay on track. And just, I'm going to tell myself this just as much as I'm telling you. Be kind to yourself. Be patient with yourself. 
Um, this is the long race. This isn't a, a short sprint. So have a great weekend. Bye.